four, and the Lord said, "And hey, Mark, jump down to uh to verse nineteen, kind of, and and the mess because uh this is dealing. It went from Cain. It, it's going. What we're doing is happened from what Cain said to happen to Lamech, mm -hmm. which which Lamech came further on down the uh down, you know, out of the lineage of Cain because Cain had a son named Enoch, and Enoch went on to have more children. And out of his children came a man named Lamech. Go ahead. Um, and, out of his children's seed. Uh, and, and Lamech took uh, them two wives. The name of the one was Ida, and the name of the other was Zillah. And Ida bare Jabal. He was the father of such which dwell in tents, and of such as have cattle. And his brother, the name was Jubal. He was the father of all such as handled the harp and organ. All right, you can jump down to 23. Uh, and Zilla, I mean, and Lamech said unto his wife, Ada and Z Zilla, um, hear my voice, you wives of Lamech, hearken unto my uh, speech, for I have slain a man to my wounding and a young man to my hurt. So that was talking about what he did when he was king. You know, go ahead. Because <laughs> uh, it said every, every third, fourth. Kind of get that out of that Exodus real quick. He uh, said, and if Cain shall uh, be avenged sevenfold, truly uh, Lamech seven, seventy and sevenfold. Because he, he knew who he was in the in the reincarnation. Uh, so, I got that. You got that? Yeah, give me that. Exodus 20 and uh, 5. Uh, Thou shalt not bow down thy servant. I mean thyself to to them nor serve them, for the for for I the Lord Yahweh by Shemiel shall the power and the jealous power, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children, unto the third and fourth generation of them that hate me. All right, for the third and fourth generation of them that hate me, so every hundred about every hundred years, the spirit come back up to the earth, and that's how he uh, every every third to fourth generation, so your son's son son. Yeah, your son's son, uh, son, so between your sons, your grandson, you be either your grandson or your great grandson. That's how you come back into the to the earth, and that goes for every everybody. Unless the most side they leave your spirit, but other than that, you come back every third to fourth generation, which is your grandson or your uh, or your great grandson. You know, you know. So that's what that was uh, uh, basically a. a, a a rule or understanding that the Most High put that we will be reincarnated and come back up to the earth. I got something real quick. Mm -hmm. This is a second Ezra four and forty. So he answered me and said, "Go thy way to a woman with child, and ask and ask of her when she have fulfilled her nine months, if her womb may keep the the birth any any longer with her." Then said I, "No, Lord." That she, that she cannot. I mean, that can she not? And he, and he said unto me, in the grave, the chambers of the of the souls are like the womb of a woman, for it, like a a woman that travails, make his haste to escape the the necess, necessity of travail. Even so, the uh, the these places. Ha haste to deliver uh, those things that are uh, committed unto unto them basically uh, verse 41 and 40 speaking about the grave you can't just stay in the, in the spear world for forever you, the Lord sends your spear back in in, uh, in a time like you said in, uh, what was it, uh, Exodus 20 and uh, 5 during the third and fourth generation you come back because you can't just sit in the spirit world, the Lord doesn't just have you chilling up there for for thousands of years, just sitting there, just <laughs> up there, just <laughs> just, just, just chilling with the Most High. No, the Lord sends your spirit back into a new body. Yeah. Hey, so what we did, the brothers did a fervent uh, search on um, reincarnation through the scriptures, and if you know through the spirit, we hope the brothers understood, you know, that the Most High. They, and he, that's his requirement that he has that man come back to the earth every third to fourth generation from the lineage that they they are in. There's so many generations on this earth 
there's billions of people on this earth at this moment. So if you think about it, and we have a children earlier, so it's just, that's how often, it's now we've been uh, overstuffed with um, all the spirit, most of the spirits are on the earth. So I shall see. Maybe I shall see. Come. So it's going to be, it, it, it's through the spirit of the Most High, because back then it, it, it wasn't that many, but now it's just so many that, you know, judgment's going to come, you know. And that's the, that's, that's, that's the Most High. It, you know, we don't think like Him. And that was a beautiful way to put it. Man to come back on earth continuously, you say you go back up to the spirit world, come back, you serve your judgment. And come back, and everybody served their judgment because we huh. all have sinned. Shit, that's and the reason short. why Israel caused so much hell. Right. You know, we were serving judgment for the sins that we committed in our when we were our fathers. Huh. You know, when we were our forefathers. Huh. That's like, yeah, I got one real quick. Huh. Uh, because this Cause, cause how, is, how is that fair? First of all, b before you get that, so like, yeah, I'm trying to cut you off. But when you when you uh, deal with the book of Ezekiel, it tells you that the father shall no more, more perish for the sins of the children, mm -hmm. and the children shall no more perish for the for the sins of the father. Mm -hmm. You know, the, the Lord said, "What is this? What is this proverb that you have, have in Israel that the fathers have eaten sour grapes and the children's teeth are set on edge?" Well, why do our children need to be uh, 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 judged for the iniquities that we did? Mm -hmm. well, they, didn't, they didn't commit and do anything mm -hmm. wrong. That you. goes to show you that we're all being judged for the sins that we committed in this lifetime and the previous lifetime. That's right. That's right. That's right. Go ahead, bro. Okay. Uh, this mm -hmm. is Ecclesiastes uh, chapter 3, and then this is the point in verse 22. Uh, and it reads, Wherefore I perceive that there is nothing better than that a man should rejoice in his own works, for that is his portion, for who shall bring him to see what shall be after him? <laughs> you know? Yeah. yeah. Uh, the who should see what was after him. But, right. I mean, it's plain. You know, yeah. you know plain and simple. It's there. Yeah, right there. Yeah. Uh, right. And with that, we want to give all praises to, to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai. The bonds to the apostle and the elder, great millstone, peace, society, church, and the brothers on the four corners of the earth doing his work in sincerity and in truth. And Shalom. 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 Shalom.